My name is Natalie Finnegan and I'm an RE advisor for the Diocese of Motherwell and the Archdiocese of Glasgow, which means that I work with teachers like yours to make RE in schools better. The chapter we're going to look at today is chapter 34, God's sign for his people. While Ahaz was king in Jerusalem, two kings declared war on him. They surrounded Jerusalem with their soldiers. The king's heart and the hearts of the people trembled, just as the trees in the forest tremble when the storm breaks out upon them. King Ahaz went to the water channel to inspect it. The prophet Isaiah went there also. He brought the king a message from God. Stay calm, do not fear. The two are plotting evil against you. Be loyal to God and he will be loyal to you. Isaiah said, God will give you a sign, any sign that you ask for, so that you can be sure of his help. But Ahaz rejected the offer. No, I will not ask God for a sign. Then Isaiah said, nevertheless, God will give you this sign. See, the maiden shall conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and give him the name Emmanuel. That means God is with us. So what's happening in this chapter? Well, we hear that two other kings have decided to start a war with King Ahaz and that he and his people are very, very frightened. We hear that they are so afraid that they tremble like trees in a storm. The king then meets the prophet Isaiah. And when we hear that word prophet, we might think it means someone who can predict the future to us. And that's certainly how we might hear this word used today. But prophets in the Bible have a very different job from this. When we meet prophets in the Bible, they bring messages from God, explaining how God wants us to live and what we need to do to make our relationship with God a good and loving relationship. Isaiah tells the king to be calm and not to be afraid. He tells the king that if he stays loyal to God, if he stays friends with God, then God will stay friends with him and will protect him and his people. Isaiah then says to the king that God will prove his loyalty to him by sending any sign that he wants. But King Ahaz doesn't trust God. He's weak and he lets his fear get the better of him. Isaiah can't believe what he's hearing. He doesn't understand why the king wouldn't want to receive a sign from God. So he tells him that God will send the greatest sign to the people. And this sign will show everyone that God is always there for us, is always our friend and will always protect us. The sign he is talking about is the birth of the baby Jesus. This makes me think of another part of Jesus's life that we're concentrating on just now in this time after Easter Sunday. We're thinking about how Jesus rose from the dead, giving us another sign that he loves us, that he's always here for us and will always protect us. In the readings at Mass just now, we're hearing about lots of times when Jesus appears to people. We learn from these readings that God is still with each of us today in our hearts, in our homes and in our family and friends. Perhaps you could think about times when you've shown the love and kindness that God shows to us to someone else. Perhaps you've drawn a poster to thank the NHS or waved to an older neighbour who may be lonely or helped your mum and dad, brothers or sisters in these difficult times when everyone's at home a lot. Now think of a way in which you could show God's love to another person this week. The message of this chapter is to keep faith in God's love for us always, even when times are difficult and we may be afraid. Stay friends with God by saying your prayers and speaking to him and also trying your best to show that love to everyone you meet. <laughs>